So my size. What it dooski YouTube? It's your boy Martin Malcolm checking back in, back with another video, back with the legendary unboxing table. And if the title hasn't given away already, back with another thousand dollar mystery box. And I know what you're thinking. Why would I do that again, given how the last video turned out? But I thought to myself, hey, look, it could have been a fluke. It could have just been a bad box. So let's try something from a different supplier and just a different category of things, to be honest. So with that being said, today I have a thousand dollar designer clothing mystery box. So hopefully we have better luck this time and I can actually make some money back or even like keep more than one thing. Cause last time it was pretty rough. I'm not gonna lie. But first and foremost, you know the drill. Click that like button if you enjoyed the content and subscribe if you haven't already. And for those of you who wanna keep up to date with me in between videos, make sure to follow the kid on Instagram at Mind of Malcolm to see what I'm doing on a day to day, to see what fits I'm getting off, what I'm buying. So yeah, make sure to follow up if you aren't already because I definitely guarantee there'll be something that you'll enjoy on there too. So without further ado, let's see what I spent my thousand dollars on today. So first things first, obviously we need the mystery box. And judging by this one, it actually is a decent amount bigger in terms of the actual box. And the weight in comparison to the last one I got, this is a little bit heavier. So it sounds like there's a couple of things in here, which is cool. So I'll put that there for now. And just as importantly, obviously I need my handy unboxing knife. There we go, simple as that. And before I get into the box today, I gotta give a huge shout out to the homie who actually made this box for me. He goes by the name of Mateo. I will leave his Instagram somewhere on the screen, but he has a good range of stuff he actually tends to carry for people. Not necessarily just mystery boxes, but selling designer gear under retail for the most part or for very good deals. So yeah, make sure to hit him up and definitely mention I sent you because he'd be happy to see kind of feedback on what we think of this as well as what we think of his page overall. So I'm gonna be very careful because I'm not sure what's on top, but let's see. And when it comes to mystery box curation, Mateo gave me a list of about like 12 or 15 brands which I can choose from. So I chose a good majority just to get some variety in the box. Let's see, it looks like there's paper. So that's good, it's very, very hidden. So I'll keep the box over here. Let me just open it up a little bit. Recycle folks, be a conscious consumer. Some more paper. This is good packing. If there is something delicate in here, that should be good. And we have some more paper. And now I do feel a shirt finally, but I can't forget something that is just as important. Let me put the thousand dollar counter up somewhere on the screen and let's get it popping. So as I was saying, first things first, I feel a shirt. It is a, it looks like a Hawaiian shirt. Let's see, it's by a brand called Potato Head. It's made in Bali. So this is cool. And in terms of pricing, I may need to do some Googles cause I've never heard of this brand to be honest, but the quality feels pretty good. And overall, this looks like a sick shirt, man. Like it has a type of kind of a, it looks like a dancer maybe, or some type of young woman on there. And overall, the print is cool. Summertime, I can definitely get down with this. And when it comes to vacationing, this would be an A1 shirt. Judging from the quality and knowing that Hawaiian shirts really do range in price, I would say this is probably somewhere around maybe $100 Canadian. I'll try to adjust it as I kind of do some Googles. My bad for that first pickup. It looks like that box was taking just a little bit too much room up in the camera. So I moved it over just a touch so you can have the optimal viewing angle. What could be next? What could be next? This feels like a shirt as well. Looks like a graphic tee. What is it? It's an Akira tee. Oh, ready made. Yo, this is crazy. This is really crazy. From what I know, ReadyMade is actually a Japanese based brand and their stuff is expensive, man. And this is a fire Akira T. It has the Akira print on it. Super, super cult classic anime film. If you don't know Akira, I would definitely suggest looking into it when you have an hour and a half to spare. That movie is crazy and a huge influence for a lot of the animes that I watch today. Uh, and man, this T goes nuts. This is a, looks like a collaboration for the film, ReadyMade, so I know it's gonna be kind of pricey and it even has a back hit there. I would say in terms of quality, this is legitimately like the sturdiest white tee I have felt in a long, long time. Like this is built to last for sure. I'm gonna assume this is probably $200 Canadian. So let's say $220 Canadian just to be safe because I've never seen this before, so it must be pretty limited. So with that being said, we hypothetically made back $320 of our initial investment into this mystery box and we're only two items in. This is looking very promising, yo. Damn. So this next thing, it feels like maybe the bottom of a pant. Let's see. Oh, it is a pair of jeans. They look like kind of like a, a waxed material. Brand new with tags. 
size 34, so my size. Hold on a second. Ain't no way, bruh. Look at the price on there, if you can see it, if the camera's picking it up. The price of these jeans was $950. Hey, yo. That's the whole, we just made back the whole box already. This is fire, man. All right, let's look what these are. These look like these are Margiela jeans. These are Mason Margiela denim. Yo, this is, I never thought I'd own like a designer piece like this. Like it looks to me initially a blue pair of denim was actually coated in this white paint. So as you wear it and actually get your use in out of it, it starts to distress and mold around your body. So these are sick and these are $950. Hey, yo. Yeah, these are fire. The fit I'm gonna make with these, oh brother. Put that on the counter. We're already in the green. Let's go. First of all, I can't believe those jeans were $1,000. That's hype. Straight off the rip, like I'm being honest with you. Secondly, they're white jeans. Like how much more Jamaican can I possibly get? Let's go. But on to the next. All right, let's see. This feels like a, a pant, I'm assuming. Oh, it's a pair of shorts. Okay, this is cool. I dig this. Gallery department. Oh man. Yo, these are fire. Gallery department is definitely an elusive brand and I always wanted something from them, but it's just super hard to get in Canada. And these are sick. I would assume these are a couple of hundred dollars for sure. And I'll actually rock these like probably anytime the weather warms up. And when it comes to details, things are pretty simple. There's a gallery department hit on the left thigh. It's actually a brand based out of Los Angeles, which is sweet. And inside looks like we have some elongated drawstrings, which is cool. And I think, yeah, these are brand new too. The tag, whew, these retail for $325. Wow, these are some expensive shorts. That's crazy. And these are definitely something I would keep if they fit. These are size XL on the waist, but they're adjustable, so I think they should be good to go because I am a size 34 waist. But yo, these are a solid, solid pickup. So given how things are already going, I can't even picture what else is left in this box. Well, let's see. So I can feel a couple of things. This feels like some type of bag and another type of bag. Let me pull out one of them. It is a, a Saint Laurent bag, so this is cool. Feels like an accessory, brand new in the box. Oh, it's a bracelet. It's $240 Canadian. It's a YSL Giglio Vegetal bracelet in dark brown. Accessories are always cool and they pay dividends in outfits for sure. And when it comes to styling, nothing too, too extravagant. It is Saint Laurent. So it's definitely more expensive already. But in terms of quality, things feel good. Definitely a cool accessory and something different than just a metal bracelet like I have on here. And at 240 bucks, kind of expensive, but I guess it comes with the designer price tag and that makes sense. And honestly, man, the cool thing about a lot of these pieces or most of these brands is that I've only seen them online. So seeing them in person and really feeling the quality, I can see why some of the prices are more justifiable than others. And I'm glad I can have this experience so far. But nevertheless, let's get to the rest of the box. I think there's like one or two things left. So I feel a tag, I feel a shirt, and I see a familiar logo, John Elliott. This is a sick tee, very, very summertime appropriate. This is actually the university tee uh, in Sorrel tie-dye. And these tees go for a pretty penny, I'm not gonna lie. The retail price on these tees are usually like 250 to 300 bucks. But with that being said, they do tend to go on sale a decent amount. And the quality for John Elliott is always top, top notch for sure. I definitely stand behind it. So I would say this tee is worth 160 bucks. I would give it that when all is said and done in terms of sales. This is a size large and it's a slightly oversized fit, so this should fit me. And this colorway is just nuts. I have a good prediction that tie dye and things of that nature in terms of vibrant colors will be way more in this summer. So you'll definitely see me rocking this on those hotter days. But this shirt, that brings our total up to almost a thousand dollars, I think. So this is crazy, man. Like this box has been nuts. I think there's like one thing left, which was the other bag I felt initially. So let's see what that is. I feel two things actually, so I'll, I'll pull one up. It looks like candy. <laughs> Yo, what? A peach gummy candy. And it looks like it's Japanese, product of Japan. So hey, there's no monetary value on this I could kind of pinpoint on, but just thoughtfulness. Cause yo, I really like candy and fuzzy peaches is, or one of my favorite candies straight up. So peach gummy candy, this is probably certified heat in Japan. So yo, I appreciate you for this. This is fire. Yo, that's sick. Let's say that's $1 of sentimental value. Add that to the tally. All right, let's see what else is in here. I think that's it. Uh, there's one thing left. Oh, it looks like a note. It says, Malcolm, thanks for trusting me to make you a mystery box. Enjoy. Mateo, man, if you're watching this, you did a crazy job with this box. The curation really shows that you know your stuff when it comes to designer clothing and what would be more tailored for someone like me. This is round of applause, man. You did a great job. I will say, like, I'm, I'm genuinely happy with 
majority of the pieces from this. As long as it fits, I'll be happy. And it's all brands that I have never experienced before when it comes to seeing them in person, which is sweet. So as you can see from this pile on my right side, there is six things plus some candy that I picked up today, all totaling to the amount of $996 profit. Like if I was to sell this box for retail prices of everything in here, or even a slight discount, I would still be up in a big way. And this was a great example of a good mystery box. Like this, in my opinion, was well worth my money. And there are pieces from this haul that I would definitely wear. And you'll see me wear in upcoming fit pics on Instagram. But I'm curious to know, what do you think? Do you think that these items on my right side were worth $1,000 in terms of pickups? Or would you rather have spent that $1,000 yourself to buy and shop for your own curation purposes? Let me know in the comment section below. My honest opinion is that obviously it's a risky gamble. But as you can see, this time it paid off in a big way. Because these are definitely some things that I had no idea even existed. And I'm glad to have them in my closet now. But it could be just as risky as if it was something that I wouldn't wear, I would be kicking myself for sure. And as for usual, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for more videos coming in the near future. Appreciate the love, appreciate the support, and I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces!